hey guys hey everyone how are y'all doing out there it's your girl twin d and thank you so so much for stopping by the channel if you didn't know now you know it's your girl twin d again <laughs> thank you all for your support guys thank you for those of you who are guys any one of you guys who are purchasing from my um precious stone jewelry store i have them right here guys so i have um bracelets and I have for men as well. You can't see them properly, but they are there. I have necklaces and everything here, guys. You get a mantra with your purchase so you can help to fight whatever it is that you need help with. All right. So thanks to everyone who is purchasing from my Precious Stone Jewelry Store. And if you're purchasing my Bath and Body products, big up on yourself. Enough, enough. Thanks for the support. And I do hope that the products help you. Everybody who has been sending me donations, whether on my channel or using the thank you button underneath my videos. Thank you guys so, so much. And it's Christmas. All right. I got to give extra, extra thank you. Extra thank you. To every one of you guys who support me watch them videos guys thumbs them up share them and make sure that you keep on watching this is where you want to be if you want to learn about your twin flame journey we don't only do cards over here guys we also have questions and answer sessions on thursdays 8 30 p.m eastern standard time where you can get the information that you need about your journey what you're experiencing what you're going through if you miss the few that we've had before just go into my page and you can go underneath my videos and you will see the live questions and answers all right so make sure you don't miss the next one it's going to be next week, Thursday, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we will be discussing, are the Divine Masculines abusive? Because as so everybody, they always say what the Divine Masculine is doing. So if you want to get your answer, if you want to speak your mind or your thoughts, give your thoughts, then make sure you join us. All right. Let's jump into your message and let's see what's on your Divine Masculine's minds. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right. Let's jump in guys and let's see within the next three days. And guys, let me thank every one of you watching them ads guys. That's how you help to support your girl. So thank you for that as well. All right. Let's see what's up. What's, what's on our masculine's minds, please, Father God? What's on our masculine's mind that you need us to know? We have faith. You have victim. And you have enlightenment. So your divine masculines are doing a lot of thinking here. But what I really like is that they are coming to this feeling they're trusting they have this um they have this spiritual enlightenment they are changing they're going through their processes they're going through the changes that they're supposed to that's going to set them into that place of the divine masculine of the emperor some of your divine masculines with this victim energy they are hurting they are sad. Some are even crying. And it's because they realize that they have been putting themselves into this victim mentality. Putting themselves into situations where they become the victims. But because of this spiritual change that they are going through. They are able to release all those toxic behaviors. Toxic people, places, animals, things, bugs, every living thing. Everything. That does not serve them any good. They're releasing them. And they're changing. See, it's like they're healing their inner childhood wounds. Everything about them is healing. And now they're planning. They're making plans. They're planning. Give me something else, please. Whoa. My gosh, that was so fast. Like fast, like scary. You have prayer. Yeah, so they are becoming more spiritual, guys. See? Lemonade. It doesn't matter what comes their way right now. 
your divine masculine is making the best use of it because they have awakened to their spiritual self. And like I said, everything that does not belong in their life, they're getting rid of them. They are getting rid of these situations. Let's put these up here because I, I got a couple more. You have passion and recovery. Mm -hmm. 525. Five. So your divine masculines are thinking about this recovery period. Like what they're going to do after they get out of these situations. What they're going to do after they, 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 they've regained that strength that they need to move forward. There is some incognito message that's going to come in. So some of you guys, you may be seeing some messages from your masculine, whether it's on social media or whatever. But it's like, you know, you know, those in, indirect messages that are directly meant for you. Yeah. <laughs> like that. Like that. So your divine masculines realize that the things that they were hanging on to, yeah, did not belong in their life. Complacency, like I said, some of them, they're crying, look. They're crying. They're crying. And it's all because of issues from childhood. Now they're mastering their strength. See, changing their perception. Everything is changing around these divine masculines. And all they're thinking about is happiness and joy. Their heart is, is like, their heart is pounding with love. Let me just put it that way. And trickery. Yeah. I was tricked, putting myself into situations that hurt me. And it's like, I know that these situations are hurting me, but I was just being the victim. And I, I just, I just did whatever I was not supposed to do. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Give me more about this faith. What situation was going on here or what these divine masculine had faith about. Receiving a gift and you have court. So you, some of your divine masculines, they were going through um, massive changes here. And it's that faith that they had in God that they started to trust in God for this victory. So you see, it's Christmas. Some of you guys will definitely be receiving a gift here. Like a surprise from your divine masculines. And your masculines too, who were going through these situations. They will be receiving that victory. I can see your Christmas present. Congratulations, you won. Congratulations, you've won. And it's that faith that they had that's keeping them um, safe. Your masculines are regaining their strength and confidence. There's balance being restored. There's going to be some comforting happening here. I don't know how, where, why, when, whatever. But... There's some comforting energy happening around the Christmas time. I mean, of course, it's Christmas. You know, we need that comfort. We need that little love. But somebody's going to get it here because your divine masculines, they are free. They're free. Rich, good gentlemen, they're free. This divine masculine is alone. Free, single, and disengaged. Or they will become that free, single, and disengaged person around that Christmas time here. Because of that situation, they were, they were um, trying to fight within that law or court issue, whatever it was. But they're now free. Give me something on this victim in regards to what these my masculines were fighting, please. What situation is this about and that they have on their mind? Military person. So your divine masculine did have something to do with the law here. I don't know if they are the ones who are this um, military person or they had issues with the courts like it just um, stated right here. But the good thing is they're overcoming these situations, guys. And again, it's because of the faith that they now have in God. That they're achieving the success and you have the good lady. So your masculines are thinking about you at this point. And they're realizing their mistakes. They're realizing like, that, like I've been stubborn, you know. I've been stubborn. 
that, that's how I was playing the victim. Like I was the one that was getting all, all kind of fight against her. Blamed everything on the feminine. But yeah, things are changing. Things are changing. And what about this enlightenment, please? What caused this enlightenment or what did they receive this enlightenment about, please? Living room. So this has something to do directly with their house, their home, close to them, someone close to them. And again, you may be seeing the number 222. Two, two. See, you have prison. So it's like your divine masculines were trapped in their own space, in their own home. Couldn't move. Couldn't get out. 292. They couldn't get out of the space that they were in. The space where they were supposed to be comfortable. They were supposed to be happy. They couldn't find that happiness. They couldn't find that comfort. Everything is replaying in their mind right now. So whatever is happening, it was clo close to them or with someone that was very, very close to them. Very, very close. And they're seeing the truth. They're being enlightened. Things are being revealed to your masculines. What about this prayer, please? What about this prayer, please? The marriage card. So your divine masculines, they're praying for union. They're praying for union. They're wishing, praying, hoping. And they're thinking about this union between you and them. See, I made a mistake. I thought I was the one suffering here. And like, like they said before, I blamed everything on the divine feminine. That my life was crumbling. Everything was, was going down the drain. But they realized it wasn't the divine feminine. It was these people who were directly connected to them. But again, it's your spiritual guidance. That strength that they have in God now, 12-12. Because before they didn't have this. Three, two, three, guys. Gloomy thoughts. So your divine masculines, they have been thinking negatively here. What's on their mind? In regards to this passion energy. They may be thinking that you're losing you. They may be thinking that they have lost this love, this success in love. Like they are not going to be successful. Like things are not going to work out because after all, I was playing the victim and I was accusing Divine Feminine here. And I stood my ground and I walked away. But now they're being enlightened and realizing that it, whatever problem they were facing, it was not the Divine Feminine, it was whomever it is that they had close to them. But this, they don't have to worry. They don't have to worry. Well, let them worry a little bit. Let them worry a little bit. They'll see the truth. And what about this recovery? What are they recovering from? What's on their mind, please, about this recovery? <laughs> All right, guys. So listen, your divine maskings are recovering from whatever disappointment they went through, from whatever negative energy they were facing, from whatever disappointment that other people caused them. Whatever this living room situation is or was, they're recovering from that situation. And again, on their mind, is this reunion with you? Have I lost them? Will I be able to get my person back? Will this person talk to me? Will this person still love me? Do they still love me? And this is going to manifest for most of you guys within the next three months. Oh my Lord, check out the within the, 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 the three days um, message that I did this morning. Because it was talking about... Um, Whatever it is, it's going to start to manifest from now, starting through messages, and then the completion is going to be within three months. So whatever you are looking for, whatever your masculines have been planning, it's going to manifest within the next three, three months. And that's union with you. 1441. These are my masculines, even though they were, they were in this energy like being upset, the main person, it's all about them. 
even though they were upset because of what was happening in their life, even though they blamed you and when they realized it wasn't you and they saw the truth, they're going to get out of the situation. And hence comes that apology. Oh, Jesus. And look. The house. And underneath that is a little child. So there's a new beginning, guys. There's a new beginning that's coming in for you. Your divine masculines are going to start over. And they're thinking about starting over. They're thinking about coming to you and tell you how they truly feel. Because there was somebody manipulative in, in their life. There was somebody around them that made they that made them think or because because of how things were playing out in their life, they thought that it was because the divine feminine entered their life. No, everything was falling apart. But they're going to see that everything that was happening, every disaster that was happening is because there was somebody in their own midst, in their own home, in their presence. That was disappointing them and causing some dis dis destruction here. So you have work oc occupation. So this could also be with your divine masculine's job as well. Whatever is happening could be at your job. Could be at your job. But something is about to change, guys. And they could also be changing jobs as well. Because of them finding out that situation. Just know that they're discovering the truth because they're being enlightened. Find a lesson in this situation. There you go. They're getting jobs, new jobs. There's an award coming, a financial abundance, a past lover returns. You have insecurities and move on. There you go. It's their insecurities that cause them to blame the divine feminine in the first place. But guys, look. They're healing their inner childhood wounds and they're becoming happier. Making discoveries and things coming to light. So there you go, guys. You can't doubt these messages. Cannot. Because God doesn't lie. So everything is being revealed to these divine masculines. Everything. And they're seeing the truth for what it is. There's an apology that's going to come. And and it's like you don't even know that the masculines were blaming you for what was happening. But it was because of their insecurities. Because it's like they knew that whatever they were hanging on to was destroying them. And when it starts to fall apart. It's like, oh my God, I'm losing the only thing that I could rely on to keep me stuck in my insecurities that I didn't have to change for. And they say, it's your fault. <laughs> But all of that is changing now. And your divine masculines, they are a better person because they can see the truth now. They are spiritually enlightened now. And they are awakened. So they are now focused on this commitment with you. Actually, they are praying for that commitment with you. Praying you still love them. Praying you still care. 828. Anyways, guys, this has been your message. Take care of yourself all. Love you. Let go and let God. Don't forget to click the play now button. It will show up somewhere here or here. I, don't, I think it's here where you can press that button. It will take you to your next message so you can set your reminder so you don't miss when it starts. Okay. Thank you all again for watching. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Let go and let God. And I love you all. Later.